Bearcat, again powered by an R2800. The Bearcat still holds many world speed records and time to climb records. That particular Bearcat being flown by Howard Purdue is the only existing Bearcat of its type. It's a one-of-a-kind production aircraft. There's no other one like it. Ben, thank you very much. What a great show. When the Navy built this air, had this airplane built by Grumman towards the end of the war, they needed something a little faster for a pursuit airplane. So what they did was, say, look, we got this great big huge engine over here in the corner. We got this scrap balloon over here in the other corner. Put as little amount of aluminum behind that great big engine as you can do that, see? And we'll have an airplane. So that's what they did. I'm Tom Austin. I'm from Kalamazoo, Michigan, and I fly the F6F Hellcat here behind me. Uh, this airplane during the Second World War was the uh, premier Navy carrier-borne fighter. Had the highest kill ratio of any aircraft that fought in the Pacific, 19 to 1. It's got a 2,000 horsepower, 18-cylinder Pratt Whitney engine. As a shipboard fighter, the uh, Hellcat was designed with the same considerations that other uh, shipboard fighters were and that the wings needed to fold in order to have a maximum efficiency use of the uh, uh, hangar deck. And these wings fold back alongside the fuselage and actually the airplane is quite small, small footprint on the deck when it's folded. Structurally, the wings are very strong. Uh, I had uh, some second thoughts about, well, if they fold, they had to have a weak point in them, but if you could see the hinge point in it, uh, that's probably the strongest point in the wing. It's a delightful airplane to fly. It's got very well-balanced controls. It's easy to fly, quite frankly. Uh, it's easy for me to see how a low-time pilot could get in this airplane and take it into combat successfully. I'm John Ellis from Kalamazoo, Michigan. And I'm a pilot with the Air Zoo there in Kalamazoo, the home of the Grumman Cat Collection. And I'm here today flying the F7F Tiger Cat at the Wings of Eagles Air Show 1995. The Tiger Cat was originally designed in 1941. The prototype first flew in 1943, and the airplane I'm flying today uh, was manufactured in 1945 and was actually on the island of Guam when World War II ended 50 years ago. There were uh, slightly over 300 of these aircraft manufactured, and only uh, I know of three today that are flying, so it's not often that people do get to see the Tiger Cat at an air show. You notice the narrow fuselage. This fuselage is 42 inches at its widest point, and that is not the cockpit. As a matter of fact, in the cockpit, my shoulders are touching both sides. Very, very little room shoulder-wise for the pilot. This sleek design makes the aircraft, of course, very fast. And as you see a head-on view from the airplane, you see mostly engines in this narrow, pencil-shaped fuselage. The Tiger Cat continued in service through the Korean War and the model was used as night fighters by the Marine Corps to escort B-26s during that conflict. Uh, the Tiger Cat stayed in service primarily in the Marine Corps until the advent of the jet aircraft and was replaced then by, by jet aircraft. demonstration is being performed by Captain Dale Snort Snodgrass, Commander Fighter Wing Atlantic. His radar intercept officer, Lieutenant John Chewy Tuning. Watch as Captain Snodgrass shows the wing sweep positioning of the F-14.
variable geometry of the F-14 wing design allows the Tomcat to operate in a wide airspeed envelope from 120 knots in the landing configuration to over two and a half times the speed of sound. From the right, watch a snort approaches in the full dirty configuration, hooked down, allowing the Tomcat to land aboard carriers at sea. Captain Snodgrass will perform a burner wave off with over 35,000 pounds of thrust, powering the aircraft skyward in a dirty roll. Captain Snodgrass will now approach to come in and execute a minimum radius max performance 360 degree turn. In this turn, they'll be feeling seven times the force of gravity. We're here today to participate in the flight of the Grumman Cats. Uh, this is a flight that has over 50 years of naval aviation history involved in it, uh, with the Grumman Wildcat, Hellcat, Tiger Cat, the Bear Cat, and the current cat, the U.S. Navy's F-14 Tomcat. Uh, the performance differences of the aircraft make it a unique and, uh, and a challenge to put together. This is the 10th uh, year of the Cat flight, and it's one of the most exciting things that I think I do in the air show circuit. gentlemen, the flight of the Grumman Cats, preparing for its second pass over the area. This pass, the flight of the Cats, honoring special men and women from Pearl Harbor to the Persian Gulf, who gave their lives so that we might live in freedom.